Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 11 of Europa Universalis 4 as Japan. I believe at the end of the last um, video, our truce with Korea just ended. At least I don't think we have one anymore. Indeed, we do not. So what we need to try and do now is go to war with Korea because it's Korea we're going to be taking some bites out of. Unfortunately, they have a few allies and our allies aren't willing to get involved in the war. So really, we need to make sure that we... Um, sort of manipulate things around a little bit in order to try and get some people to join with us. So we're not going to go to war with them just yet. Hopefully very soon, but I think we just need to wait until... Well, first of all, we need to recover some manpower as well, because we have no manpower in the bank. So going to war right now would be a little bit silly. Gives us some time to set things up. Now, I've also been thinking about which idea group to take. My original idea was to try and take expansion ideas in the hope that we could go and do some colonisation. But I've decided we may as well just go straight for exploration. Uh, two reasons for this. First of all, exploration is the only one that gives us the quest for the new world, which will essentially allow us to find America. Now, that's going to be very useful for us because finding America... If we can find Central America and colonise there, it gives us a very good chance of being able to land a colony down next to Portugal, Spain or France, uh, or possibly even England, which would allow us to westernise. Our other option is to try and head west into Africa and try and bump into Portugal or Spain or Portugal or Castile down here somewhere. So we will try and go out in both directions, but I think having the exploration will be better than the expansion. The other reason for that is we're also going to be trying to take a fair bit of land from Korea, and because we're also going to be colonising on our own continent, that means we're going to be using quite a bit of administrative power to make them into cores. That also goes for stuff we take from Korea. So we are not going to have an awful lot of admin power to funnel into an idea group, so I think the best idea group to take would be the um, exploration idea. So we're going to take exploration ideas. We can instantly go ahead and get ourselves our first colonist, so that's what we are going to do. And we can actually start colonising up here. So let's go ahead and uh, and do that. Um, 97 days for the colonists to get there. We're also going to go ahead and... Well, we can't really recruit any units there. So what we'll do is we will just split off... Um, one regiment is going to be more than enough. We'll split off one regiment. We will move him up here. And he will be able to um, deal with any rebels that or natives that might pop up. So we're going to start colonising out in this direction as quickly as we can. So we will have to core it. We're not too bothered about that. Uh, Ming is having problems with rebellions. We've got some provincial unrest ourselves in uh, Kamikawa. Which is where exactly... Not 100% sure... This one, this is Kamikawa. Oh, it's because we're doing religious conversion. That's understandable, then. That will go away once the religious conversion is over. So what we really need to do is make sure that we start getting friendly with a few people. I mean, we, at the moment, because I am building up my uh, forces here, I have about 20,000 troops. Korea has 13,000. Um, Yan has another 8,000, so that's 21,000. And then also they've got um, you on their side. Or is it Wu? Who's on your side, Korea? Uh, Korchin. No, that's not it. Uh, Korchin, Wu, and Yan. So they have 13,000 plus 8,000 from Yan, which makes 21,000. 25,000 with Korchin. And then there's another nine down there. So they've got 34,000 troops to my 20,000 troops. So we really need to either make sure that their allies don't all get called in or some of our allies come and join us. But it would be nice to A, get up to our maximum force limit, B, get some manpower in the bank. Speaking of our maximum force limit, what is it? 23, we're actually quite close to being there. Uh, what do we have here? We have four, uh, four cavalry to eight infantry, I think. What we'd like to do there is go ahead and grab another infantry. Uh, we'll recall our diplomat from uh, Ming. We can't improve relations there anymore. I'll keep it at speed 3 because there's not really an awful lot that I can do. 
So yeah, at the moment, neither Yeren nor Ming would actually come in on our side, but all of his allies would. So we need some sort of war to kick off, some sort of distraction. Now, obviously, the last time we went to war with Korea, we weren't the war leader. We just sort of came in on the coattails of Yeren. Now, that worked out well for us because we did get a province here. It's given us a piece of land on the main bulk of Korea where we can stage our troops from. We, we're not going to have to do naval landings if we can sort of hold position. But we are going to have some issues later on. So we definitely need to try and make sure... We can also colonise these if we wanted to as well. Uh, we also need to uh, try and make sure that we um, have a few allies going in with us so that we can be the war leader and we can take what we want. We can grab this stuff down here at the bottom. So now we're at our force limit, we can start having our manpower recover. We are working on a colony, but we've still got um, money coming in. Would be nice to have positive stability. Would be nice to go down here and grab Taiwan, and we definitely will do that at some point. But remember here, these provinces have quite a bit of development, actually, so they'll be quite expensive to core. Uh, not only that, there's quite a few natives here, so we'll have to send a good chunk of units down just to make sure that they are safe. But either way, it will help to uh, give us more land and increase our force limit. We could go ahead and build a few more buildings. We probably will. At the same time, I also want to try and make sure that I keep enough money in case we need to hire some mercenaries, which is quite possible. Uh, we will recall diplomat from... Where were you trying to do? Improve relations with high C. Were we trying to get you on side? Where's high C? I can't even see you. Do you even exist? Where are you on the map? Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, fine province. Oh, there, there we go. I was expecting, just completely blind. I was expecting it to be a different colour. Uh, what are our relations currently? We only have two of four, which was with Ming and Yaren. So what about you? Would you be willing to form an alliance? No, you wouldn't. Why not? Oh, because you're a vassal under Ming, but I think we were just um, just sucking up to you in case you ever broke free. We could try and suck up with the likes of um, Korchin and uh, Yan. Maybe even get them on our side. Maybe even Wu. Minus 70, minus 20. Right, let's try and work on you. We'll improve relations with you. Might work out for us. Probably not. But we'll definitely see what we can do there. If we can try and convince some of them to be on our side... We could also go ahead and try and improve relations. Do we want to try for Wu? They're a little bit low. Let's try Korchin, because they're only on minus 24. Let's go ahead and improve relations with you. If we can make them like us more than they like Korea, there's a chance that they won't come in on Korea's side. So it's worth trying to do that. Uh, meanwhile, we'll continue to fabricate claims. Oh, we can't fabricate any. That's quite strange there. You're telling me we have claims on every single um, one of the provinces around us? Apparently we do for some reason. So, okay, we've already got as many claims as we're going to be able to get on Korea. They'll probably start running out sooner or later. That's fine, though. So, oh. That was new. I never realised that it told you what the current music was playing if you moused over the uh, over the date. That's quite interesting. Okay, so we are colonising here. It's only got a base development of three. That is fine. So, yeah, the other thing that I said that I was going to consider doing was buying some buildings. Now, there's not an awful lot that we can get at the moment. It'll be nice when we get on next level. I think it's the next level of military tech. Next level military tech will allow us to build barracks, which will increase our manpower. It'll also give us um, better tactics, uh, better cavalry, more combat width, better infantry shock. Uh, we're currently at level 5. Um, Korea is currently at level 6. So again, we definitely don't want to take on Korea until we are of an equal level to them militaristically. It'd be suicide to do so. Um, so let's consider building a building or two. Do I want to get forts? I think I may actually 
want to go and build a fort over here. Now, normally I don't use forts, and I've explained my reason for this before, um, but I think by having a fort here, it'll actually slow down the length of time it'll take them to grab it in the case of a war. That said, if they grab it... No, actually, I've just changed my mind there. I'm going to cancel that. Can I not actually cancel the building? There. Um, the reason for that is, at least if I go to war with Korea and Korea manage to take this province, it's worth nothing in terms of war score. The moment I put a fort there, yes, it'll make it more difficult to take, but if they do manage to take it, it's going to be even harder for me to take it back because I'm fighting against my own fort, and it also means it's going to be a massive chunk of war score for them. And I don't want them to get a massive chunk of war score. If they want war score, they're going to have to come and siege out mainland Japan. And it's much easier for me to defend that than it is to defend this single province. We've lost our military advisor. Um, well, we can't actually afford... Well, technically, we could afford the level 2 guy, but I think we're just going to stick with the, uh, the level 1 for now. Would be nice to get that extra discipline. But certainly not yet. We'll keep our eye on our force limit because it will keep ticking up. What you've got to remember is we do have quite a few provinces that have some high autonomy, which will start going down. Yeah, quite a few of these provinces have got decent amount of autonomy. So as that starts to burn away, we'll actually start to get um, more force limit. So we'll definitely wait for that. So do I want to build any other types of buildings? Maybe we want to get a temple or two, get some additional tax. Not a terrible idea. I know we've already gone ahead and built a few. Try and get them nice and early on in the game, because the earlier you get them, the more likely they are to pay for themselves. If you wait until towards the end of the game, then you don't really get your money back on them. So we can lose 10 prestige and 10 legitimacy for 50 admin power, or we can lose 21 ducats for the prestige. I think we'll actually just lose the money and take the prestige. It would be nice to get admin power, but I don't really want to lose prestige. Lose 10 diplo. Or we get an absent merchant for 10 years. Well, we'll take the Diplo hit, unfortunately. What about marketplaces? Is there anywhere we can get that will give us a relatively decent boost to trade? And a 1.5 there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And that's got us down to 200. Maybe we'll just spend on one more. Uh, 1.2 is the highest that I'm currently seeing. Keep forgetting we've got this little island down here. We've also got uh, Okinawa. So 1.10, 1.6, probably the next site. 1.7. 1.7. Almost afford that 1.6. We can next month. Got no money, so we can't do that right now. Well, we can't go to war at the moment anyway. We are still making money. Still can't quite afford it. How much are we making? 3.4 ducats per month. Do I really want to go and spend every last penny I have? No, I think I'll save it a little bit. Okay, what have we got here? We have a potential rebel uprising. Independence for a new in Kamikawa. Again, that's because we are converting. How long is that conversion taking? I guess what I could do is just go and move my uh, army over here and reduce the chance of that happening. We can actually grab a new idea, so we can go ahead and grab Quest for the New World. So we can actually start doing that nice and early. Now, we do need either three lights or three transports. What do we like on terms of our force limit? We are currently below our force limit. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple more light ships. So we'll get one... 343 days. I guess everywhere else is going to be sort of close to 500 days. So let's go and grab one there. We'll need three more, but I'll actually grab one from the trade fleet. Uh, so we've got one heavy. Yeah, there's nine on the trade fleet. We'll grab one from the trade fleet. And I think those are just my transports. Good number of transports there as well. And then we'll have to use some Diplo to hire a explorer, and then we can start using him to do some exploring, and that'll give us some prestige. So it's definitely worth doing the exploration missions as quickly as we can. Right, so we'll park you in there. We're still running at full maintenance, which isn't a terrible idea. Now, are you going to reduce the unrest? Unrest is still 9.1%. If you just hurry up and finish that conversion, then... 
they'll go away. Have we converted the rest of the provinces? I think everything else is Shinto. Yeah, that's the only province we have that isn't converted yet. Oh, and of course, um, this one over here, which we need to do. See, a great advisor has died, which is another reason why I was hanging on to some of my money, because this tends to happen. So we've lost our admin guy. Um, let's get an admin woman. Stability cost or... Well, we want production efficiency, because that will give us more money in the long run. So we'll keep doing that. So we've got a free advisor at the moment. We keep our eye on these guys and see if they would be willing to accept an alliance. These guys wouldn't because they're allied to our rival. Uh, was it these guys we were sucking up to? Um, we have a new heir, 234. Not terrible. Not great either, but not terrible. Um, yep, yeah, allied, allied to rivals. Yeah, we're probably not going to get friendly with any of these people. Certainly not enough to um, get them to ally with us. If only Ming would sort his uh, sort his country out and come and help us, that could be useful. Uh, Yeren is having some major problems with rebels right now, who have actually looks like they've now crossed over into um, into Ming. So he's going to be dealing with them from now on. So we've got. Um, I thought we got one of our ships, and that's just our are heavy. I was going to say that. Yeah, that got um, completed quickly and it was on the wrong side. How are we doing over there? Yeah, the unrest is going down slightly. The, the chances of the them popping is still quite high. Fish will now be produced. That's up here. How How is our colonists doing? Not too bad, actually. It's not a great province. It's... Um... Why don't these always highlight... Arctic. How is this Arctic? How is there an Arctic province next to Japan? It's not that far north, surely. Uh, maybe it is. Doesn't seem right, though. Well, we'll recall the diplomat. There's nothing else we can do with you there. Come on, Ming. You can go and sort those out. We still need to get up to our military power so we can take our next level of tech. We're getting close to it. We are behind. We're behind time on everything at the moment. Okay, we'll recall the diplomat then. There's not an awful lot that we can do. Let's just keep our eye on our force limit. Again, it's going up again. Let's go ahead and get another infantry. Make sure we've got enough men to fight this war out. We've got quite a lot of land as Japan. We're quite a big country in comparison to Korea. The only problem is we've got such high autonomy at the moment. We're not getting the most from our um, force limit. So we need that autonomy to burn away. Uh, we need to get up to military tech 6 to stand a chance of being able to fight against Korea. Even if our allies do come in, that it's not going to be any use if they are a military tech above us. Especially going from 5 to 6, it's quite a significant advantage that you can get from that. Let's make sure that we keep improving relations with Ming. Uh, we'll also keep improving relations with what is left of Yeren, even though they seem to be still getting wrecked over there by the rebels. I wonder if we'll be able to see what piece of land's up over here. We might be able to work this way and just work straight across to America. And, um, yeah, we would like to grab Taiwan, but we only have a single colonist at the moment. I don't think we can afford to support two colonies. We do now have our um, light ships. Let's go ahead and get all those together. Let's, uh, what have we got here? Oh, gain some population. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves um, one ship from here. You are going to go and... Where's Japan gone? Uh, I'm not sure where I told you guys to group up. Probably there. And then the rest of you, you are going to protect trade in Nippon again. So we'll have three light ships. We'll spend some of our diplo points to hire an admiral. Well, an explorer. And then some exploring we can do. There we go. We've got our three ships. Let's group them all together. Let us go and hire ourselves an explorer. There we go. That's not too bad. He's got three shock. Shock is useful at this stage in the game. And now we get our missions to go and explore. So, where are we going to explore? Well, we can't circumnavigate the globe yet. Philippines, Girin, Nippon. I guess we'll, we'll try and do Nippon first. Should be done fairly quick. 
anybody else that we'd like to try and suck up to and get a positive relationship with. Unfortunately, there's no one else really too close to Korea that can really help us. What about uh, Biryati? Can those guys help? Are we having a light? Oh, that's Yeren again. Are you owned by Yeren? There we go. That was strange. Um, allied to rival. Your rival is Yeren. Okay, that's a problem then. What about Mongolia? Who are you allied with? Nobody that we care about. Would you be willing to ally with us? Um, you're a vassal under Oirat. Okay. Oirat's probably too far away. Nope, they have a negative opinion about me. And... Oy, Oy Rat is rivaled Ming. Okay. So we, we're having a few problems in terms of diplomacy here. Oh, great. Increased infantry cost and cavalry cost for... It's only for two years, though. It's not terrible. We're still gaining manpower. And our manpower cap should be going up slightly as well. So how are things going on here? 60%. Unrest is still 8.6. It'll drop down again now because we've just started in the next year. So that 8.6 goes down to 8.1. So that will be the separatism. We have finished the exploration mission. So as that separatism burns off, we'll lose um, 0 0.5 uh, unrest per year. So let's go ahead and get you exploring again. Where are you? There you are. So, let's go and work around um, Girin, I suppose. And then we can have a look up there. We might be able to see what that land is. We could build more buildings, but I think we shall wait. I think there's still only a 60% chance of that uprising. How's the missionary doing? He's getting there. When are you going to be finished? Uh, September 89. So, you'll be finished this year. I don't think there's going to be enough time for the uh, rebellion to pop. We should be okay. So unfortunately, we haven't been able to start our war with Korea in this video, but it's probably for the best because if I did it right now, we would be absolutely murdered. So we'll have to keep trying to manipulate things and get into a situation where we have a decent chance against them. In the meantime, we'll just keep colonizing and expanding, building up our forces and trying to make Japan as strong as possible. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.